you're supposed to be sleeping. Your eyes aren't going to open, but. And look, there's a little pillow. No, one of my neighbors had made it. So I thought she would like that. You're welcome. I'm glad to do it. it it's to celebrate the Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this evening of sacred music at Ardsley Bible Chapel. We're very pleased this evening to have Caleb Trezeis uh, here with us this evening. Caleb is a former student at Cairn University who graduated uh, this past spring and will begin teaching at the William Penn Middle School tomorrow. Tomorrow is his first day teaching, so do wish him well. Uh, when you get a chance to speak to him later today. Caleb is an accomplished pianist and will be performing selections for us this evening from some of the greatest and most recognized composers. Tonight we'll hear music from Bach, Brahms, Beethoven, Prokofiev, Franz Liszt, and Claude Debussy. These composers were all masters of their craft and gave the world beautiful music that will never be forgotten. In a remarkable display of God's common grace, these composers, irrespective of their religious backgrounds, although several were believers, are able to lift up the souls of Christians to God by their music. Let me read a brief quote from Jonathan Edwards. He says this, The best most beautiful and most perfect way that we have of expressing a sweet concord of mind to each other is by music. But to me, it is probable that the glorified saints, after they have again received their bodies, 
will have ways of expressing the concord of their minds by some other emanation than sounds, of which we cannot conceive, that will be vastly more proportionate, harmonious, and delightful than the nature of sounds is capable of. And the music they will make will be in a measure capable of modulations in an infinitely more nice, exact, and fine proportion than our gross airs, and with organs as much more adapted to such proportions. In this quote, Jonathan Edwards admits that music is a beautiful and almost perfect way of expressing our thoughts and emotions to others. And yet he speculates that music in heaven will be even more glorious than it is now on earth. The music we enjoy now, therefore, is deliberately given by God as a foretaste of the heavenly life. Because this is the case, music must be seen as a gift of God. And the ability to create and perform music, as well as the ability to sing, as gift to be nurtured and celebrated. Like every other good thing in the world, music can be distorted and used for evil ends. Much of contemporary music today glorifies rebellion and various sins. We do not celebrate this distortion, just as we do not celebrate aspects of modern art, for instance, which seek to usurp traditions in favor of anarchy. But the existence of distortions does not take away the goodness of the original. And music, as we will hear tonight, is not only good in and of itself, as well as a gift of God, but also a small taste of the glories of life with God that we will experience in the future. The format for this evening will be as follows. In just a few moments, I'll say a prayer and then I'll turn it over to Caleb. Caleb will then play the pieces in order in which they are printed on your program. At three points this evening, there will be a congregational hymn found in the Trinity Hymnal. I will come up and announce briefly when it is time for a hymn. And after the final hymn, I'll come up again, offer some brief concluding thoughts, and then close in prayer. That will conclude the formal part of the service, and then you're all invited downstairs for some refreshments. Without further ado, let's pray. Our God, we thank you for the wonderful gift of music that you gave to mankind. And we thank you for the ability to think of compositions, for the ability to play music and for our senses with which we can appreciate and enjoy music in various forms. We pray this evening, Lord, that as we hear these pieces from such wonderful composers, you would lift up our souls to you, you would give us peace, you would give us joy as we dwell on the beauty of the world as you intended it to be, and on the new life as you promise it will be. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Caleb, over to you.
Please join us as we sing Trinity number 113, The Heavens Declare Thy Glory.
quite something, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll sing now hymn number 676, day by day and with each passing moment. We can stand for this, let's stand.
time for our final hymn. Please stand and sing 115 with us, all creatures of our God in pain. makes perfect, uh, but that's not quite right. I think practice can make very good, but perfection, I think that's an innate talent, an innate gift that we saw displayed this evening. It's no wonder that Martin Luther had this to say about music. He said, music is a fair and lovely gift of God. Music drives away the devil and makes people happy. Next, after theology, I give to music the highest place and the greatest honor. My heart bubbles up and overflows in response to music, which has so often refreshed me and delivered me from dire plagues. I trust that in a small way this evening has served, as Martin Luther said, to make you happy, to refresh you, and to draw you near to God. Let me be the first to thank Caleb for joining us this evening and for his extraordinary performance. I'm sure we would all agree 
Before I pray, let me remind you to join us downstairs if you're able for refreshments. And Caleb will be around for a little while. Uh, be sure to speak with him, thank him, and wish him well on his teaching job that begins tomorrow. Thanks again, Caleb. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Our Father, we praise you uh, for the great gift of music that you've given to the world. Thank you for this hour that we were able to enjoy, appreciate, and, and reverence you because of these great pieces that, that we heard played. I pray, Father, that as we leave here this evening, we would leave with glad hearts, that we would leave refreshed, that we would leave encouraged. And I pray that we would always be increasingly grateful to you for the gifts that you give us and perhaps give a prominent place in our thanksgiving to music. We thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for coming, and we'll see you downstairs. <laughs>